So a lot of students have asked me, Rohit, how should we look at price and volume on the day of the breakout? How should we interpret price and volume action exactly on the day of the breakout? So I will explain that to you with an example. To answer that question, I am making this video. Now, this is applicable only on those stocks which is which are comparatively technically and fundamentally strong. Technical and fundamental, you understand. Technical is about the charts. Fundamentals is about sales, earnings, margins, and return on equity. What is comparatively? Comparatively is where I talk about the relative strength of the stock, relative strength of the industry, and the institutional demand. So imagine a stock which is comparatively, technically, and fundamentally strong. And if it is breaking out, how should you handle that breakout on the day of the breakout? Remember, I said earlier that there are two ways to manage risk. One is you reduce your position size on the day of the breakout if the stock begins to move against you after you buy. So reducing your position size controls your risk. Second method is you move your stop loss up. Now, I am a very strong advocate of the first method, which is reducing your position size. I don't like to play around with the stop loss because I want to give the stock some room to fluctuate, even if it means that I have to maintain a low position size in the stock. So let us look at an example. An example will help you understand better. And the example that I want to give you is of a stock that I missed recently because I was having my breakfast while having, while the stock was breaking out and I was not concentrating. The name of the stock is NewGen. I have made a video on that and I have placed it in my trading mistakes playlist where I highlight my mistake. My mistake was lack of concentration. If a stock is breaking out and if you're not there in front of the screen or in front of your mobile phone, and if you don't buy the stock during the time when the window opens, where it is inside that buying range, you miss the opportunity. Okay, so let's go to that stock. Now, I'm not going to open MarketSmith because that will waste a lot of time. We will directly go to the chart. And I want you to assume that on the day of the breakout, the stock is comparatively technically and fundamentally strong so that we can apply this concept. Okay, You can take notes in this video. So let's go to new gen. I will go to the day of the breakout. Okay, So this is the breakout. So let me hide this. This is the day of the breakout. You see some nice consolidation, blue, green, red. Okay, so It's a nice uptrending stage to stock. There are six points in the base, more than 10 candles in the base. Okay, So all our usual criteria is met. And this is the day of the breakout. The, yellow, the first yellow line is very important. So I will remove the second yellow line. Okay, This is the price at which we must buy the stock because that's, that's point number five in the base, point number five or point number seven. You have to count the points in the base. I'm not going to do that in this video because our focus is on the breakout day. Now have a look at the closing price and have a look at the closing volume. The price has closed above the yellow line and the volume has closed above the blue line. I call this confirmation. Confirmation, price confirmation means the price closes above the yellow line. Volume confirmation means the volume bar closes above this blue line, which is the 50 day simple moving average. So imagine this stock is comparatively technically and fundamentally strong. Don't you think that it would be wise to give some more time to the stock because this is showing comparative technical and fundamental strength. There is no need to micromanage such stocks. It is very natural for a stock to break above the yellow line and start Falling. But if it is fundamentally strong, it will maintain its, its position. It will It is not likely to fall by a big amount. So we need to give such stocks some time. 
remember it is only applicable for stocks which are strong comparatively technically and fundamentally so let's go to that table so number 1 scenario these are scenarios okay first scenario you buy the stock when it breaks the yellow line okay on the upside and you wait till the end of the day so the market in india closes at 330 you wait till 325 and then see whether you are getting price confirmation and volume confirmation and based on that you decide your course of action so let's say it's 325 and the market is giving us this scenario so the volume is going to close above the blue line in the next 5 minutes the price is going to close above the yellow line so in that case do nothing hold your position maybe you put 10% or 15% or maybe 5% position size in the stock do nothing hold your shares because this is what you expected to happen imagine that you go to the railway station and you expect the train to arrive at 6:45 and if the train arrives at 6:45 or just 5 minutes before 6:45 well you expected the train to do that and if the train is doing what you expected to do you are going to board the train right similarly the first scenario is very simple this is what happened on this day see price confirmation means price closing above the yellow line volume confirmation means volume closing above the blue line so price confirmation volume confirmation so if i had not missed this stock if i had bought this stock and if it closes here i would have done nothing i would have held on to the stock because it is showing comparative technical and fundamental strength if it was not showing fundamental strength probably i would have hesitated to hold on to all the shares maybe let's say if i buy 100 shares maybe i would have sold half of those shares okay but that's a different story i am just looking at those stocks which are comparatively technically and fundamentally strong and applying this table to those kind of stocks because lot of students are struggling Uh, to figure out what to do on the day of the breakout okay next scenario so you get price confirmation but you don't get volume confirmation sometimes what happens is the price closes above the yellow line however the volume is closes below the blue line what does that mean logically what does that mean it's a fake rally the price has gone up closed above the yellow line but there was there is no force behind that move what does that mean the bulls are not strong enough to to have to bring good volume into the market which means the stock is still vulnerable although it has broken out of that yellow line the stock is still remains vulnerable which means what we need to reduce our position size why to take unnecessary risk what if the stock collapses the next day 8% 10% the odds of that happening is low but it is not zero okay the stock could collapse 8 10% in a single day so what should we ideally do we have one confirmation we don't have another confirmation so in that case i suggest you reduce your position size by 50% so if you have 100 shares sell 50 shares you will make money because the price confirmation is there the price is has closed above your buying price okay assuming you bought very close to the yellow line okay the trade execution is also important here next you don't get price confirmation but you get volume confirmation now what does this logically mean so the price doesn't close so there is a big upper shadow the price fails to close above the yellow line it closes below the yellow line and you get volume confirmation so the volume is like this it closes above the blue line what does that mean this means high volume week closing which means a day of supply so the volume did come in the market but there was enough supply or there was enough overwhelming supply not only to absorb the buying volume but also to push the price down so if high volume week closing is a signal of a day of supply what should you as a professional trader do if there is supply coming on to the market what should you do you should reduce your position size what if tomorrow more supply comes what are you going to do you never know okay that is why i suggest since you only have one confirmation 
you sell 50% of your shares. This is to control your risk. Okay. Rather than playing around with your stop loss, why not control the risk? I have seen many stocks in the past, especially in November 2023, when the market started to move up, the price would would fail to close above the yellow line, but the volume would be there. Okay. And later, immediately the next day, the price would start rallying. Okay. So on that day, there was supply. But on the coming days, the supply did not come because the supply probably ended that day. So huge amount of buying came. The stock would rally. So first, it the stock would fake you out. It would kick you out of the trade. It would scare you. And once you're out of the trade, the stock would start to go up. So that is why uh, instead of selling all shares, why not sell half and give the remaining shares a chance to go up, provided you keep an 8% stop loss. Here we are assuming that since the stock is comparatively technically and fundamentally strong, it will not fall as much to reach our stop loss of 8%. You have to go in with that assumption. Now look at the next scenario, which is disastrous. So volume confirmation, price confirmation, we get none. So price closes below the yellow line. So which means there is supply coming on that day. Okay. Volume closing below the blue line. Okay. So that's it's probably retail supply. So institutions are not selling, but the retail traders are selling the stock. So since you don't get price confirmation, you sell 50% of the shares. So out of 100, you will sell 50 out of the remaining 50, since you're not getting volume confirmation, you sell another 50%. So 50% of 50%. So you will sell 25. So total out of 100, because you don't have price confirmation, you sell 50 shares. Now you are left with 50. Out of 50, because you don't have volume confirmation, you sell 25 shares. So now you are left with 25. So by the time the day closes, you have already sold 75% of your position size. You still hold that small 25% position because there is still a chance that the stock could go up. Now, what does that do to your risk? Okay. Imagine the stock closes like 0.5% below the yellow line. So you are almost out at break even. 75% of your position size is closed almost at break even, which means even if the remaining 25% hits your 8% stop loss, that would, will only contribute to 2% loss because you are booking 8% loss on one fourth of your position. So imagine you have reduced your risk exposure by 75%. So that is how you control risk. That is why I am a very strong advocate of uh, reducing your position size on the day of the breakout to control your risk. Playing with the stop loss doesn't help. Okay, If the, if you move the stop loss up to 4% and if all of your position hits your 4%, you are booking a 4% loss, which is really unnecessary. If the market is giving you a signal that it's mark, if the market is not giving you confirmations, why hold on to the shares? Okay, so let me summarize this video. First, this table is applicable only to those stocks which are comparatively, technically, and fundamentally strong. You need to give these stocks some time. Okay, Don't sell all shares. See, if you look at all these four scenarios, in none of these scenarios, I have sold all shares. Here, I have kept all shares. Here and here, I have kept 50% of the shares. Here, I have kept 25%. Why am I keeping some shares? Why am I not selling all on the day of the breakout? Because the stock is comparatively technically and fundamentally strong. I want to give it some time. Okay. So that's the moral of the story. This is how you handle a, uh, a stock, a strong stock on the day of the breakout by looking at price and volume action. It tells you the price and volume action tells you whether it was a day of demand or whether it was a day of supply. So please make note of this uh, table. I will cre create more videos to help you categorize stocks. In this video, I spoke about a stock that was comparatively technically and fundamentally strong. But there are other categories where it may not be strong in all the three areas. It may be strong in one area, 
or it may be strong only in two areas. So how do you handle those stocks? Okay. So this is a stock which you don't micromanage on the day of the breakout. But there are other kind of stocks, other category of stocks, which you will have to micromanage. So for example, a stock is technically strong, fundamentally and comparatively it is weak. So now th those stocks you will have to micromanage on the 15 minute chart. You cannot hold on to the shares because since it is showing comparative weakness and fundamental weakness, the stock could collapse 10% even if it hits your yellow line on the same day, on the day of the breakout. That's too risky. That's unnecessary risk which we don't want. But those cat that categorization I will cover in the next few coming videos. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope uh, this will add value to your trading journey because majority of the stocks that you buy in your trading career and majority of the stocks that are really going to improve your performance are going to be those stocks which are comparatively, technically and fundamentally strong. So you are going to be needing this table to manage those stocks on the breakout day. In your entire career, if you are taking a thousand trades, majority of those trades are going to be in stocks which are very strong. Okay, So this table is very important. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you will use this information to your advantage. Thank you again for your time. Thank you again for your support on this YouTube channel. And please like, comment and share this video so that this video reaches those people who cannot afford my video courses, who cannot afford my one-on-one -on -one training or coaching. I want this video at least to reach them so that they can also become professional stock traders. And I need your support in that. Okay. Thank you so much for your time again. Have a fantastic day today.